Hello, my name is Tel Amio, and I'm here to present the Open Education Initiative. It's a partnership between the UNESCO Chair in Distance Education and the Educa Digital Institute, and we're focused on uh, advancing open education and OER in Brazil and in the region. In the next couple of slides, I'd like to talk a bit about some of the highlights of what we've done over the years. We've done some substantial work on professional development. Uh, two very important things are, uh, first, uh, a course that we developed for higher education in partnership with our Ministry of Education, with COPIS. Uh, it was offered to 300 participants from uh, public institutions all over the country. Uh, a group of these uh, remained with us, about 50, uh, to form 14 groups, 14 institutions that became ambassadors. Uh, they did advanced projects in discussing policy and also uh, doing local workshops on OER. So we've created now a national network to discuss these issues. Uh, we have a new course that's being rolled out in the next couple of months. It's ready uh, for the Ministry of Education, focused on uh, basic education for teachers in basic education, and it will be hosted at the official ministry uh, site for courses. So we hope uh, that a lot of teachers will participate. We've done dozens of workshops over the years. Uh, I highlight some of these here. And just to point out, the one on the picture here was a, a very recent one we did for the Chamber of Deputies discussing legal issues and, and OER. Uh, over the years, we've worked with many, many folks on uh, helping us with uh, working with the law projects. Uh, in 2011, a federal uh, law project was put in place. Uh, it was stagnant for quite a while until last year we managed to mo move it through the Commission on Education uh, at the Chamber of Deputies, which was a, a very big push for us. And we hope that now with this momentum, things will move forward in the next couple of years. The federal district already has a law uh, since 2015 mandating OER for educational resources. And there was a lot of work with the state of Sao Paulo and Paraná, uh, but these were vetoed by the governor. But we've also worked at, at lower levels of policy making. One of the most important things we, we managed to work in is a, a Ministry of Education ordinance in 2018 that mandated that all educational resources for basic education must now be OER, and that was a huge impact for us. Uh, but also COPIS since 2016 mandates that the consortia that makes the Open University, which are 100, over 100 institutions, public institutions in Brazil, must uh, now produce content that are OER. Everybody that receives money to participate must uh, produce OER. Uh, OER is also featured prominently in some of our most important uh, documents uh, related to education o uh, over the past couple of years. One of them is our National Education Plan, uh, which uh, decides what will happen in, in education for the next 10 years in Brazil since 2014. And the Brazilian Digital Transformation Strategy, which discusses all sorts of topics, has a prominent feature for OER uh, that features it as, as an important part of uh, educational uh, innovation. Uh, also, uh, at the municipal level, there's a decree in the municipality of Sao Paulo since 2011 that uh, maintains that uh, all content should be OER. Uh, one of the most exciting things I think we've done is, is to work with public servants in order to advance OER. Uh, and one of our most important initiatives has been a working group since 2017 that meets regularly to discuss OER, not only with various areas of the ministry, but also with other partners like UNESCO. Uh, and this has had positive impact as part of our uh, engagement with the Open Government Partnership. Uh, one of them has been our National Textbook Program, which is one of the largest in the world. Spends two billion reais, uh, almost 500 million dollars uh, every year on textbooks. And since 2019, and already guaranteed for 2020 and 21, uh, the calls for for publishers uh, include some materials that must be OER, which has been a very important step in such a large program. And we hope to advance that more even over the years. Also, the two new uh, repositories, the one one for basic education, one for higher education, all are very much OER uh, repositories. Uh, they accept and they emphasize OER as, as a matter of policy. We developed a, a number of resources for different groups. One of our first was an OER guide for teachers that has been revisited a number of times and is, is going to be uh, rehauled for 2019, but also some really exciting work on around uh, open education policy, not only a, a book that has been uh, discussed with all states in Brazil in workshops, but also a very, very new open education policy card game that's being uh, implemented in the next couple of months as well. Uh, we are now working with our Ministry of Education because of, of the decree from 2018. Uh, we are working with them f with uh, a playbook that was developed that uh, will uh, result in a number of workshops and, and work with all these public servants to help them understand how to implement the ordinance that says that all content for basic education should be uh, open. 
Uh, we've done a number of translations. Uh, Portuguese is not a, a major language, and so we, we do our best to bring these materials uh, to a larger audience. One of them was the Ljubljana Action Plan from 2017, but also the 10th year uh, document of the Cape Town Declaration, uh, the little guidebook that was created. We translated that to Portuguese as well. We created our first referatory slash repository for OER in Brazil. It's called Helia. Uh, it's, it was meant to be an example of what can be done with repositories when they're uh, very clear about licensing and having only open educational resources. It's also now been integrated to the ministry's repository, so a lot of open content is available. And we created our own uh, open education initiative site as an aggregator for news around open education in the region. We've managed to organize some important events. Um, I highlight uh, the first and the second regional consultation to the uh, UNESCO OER Congresses, both in 2012 and 17, in preparation for Paris and Ljubljana. But also a very important meeting for us locally was the OER Mercosur seminar, which happened uh, in November of 2018, which brought together folks from all over the region to discuss OER and very important guests to come up with a uh, Brasilia a letter of Brasilia, which we're calling as an action plan for the region, focusing on our needs and our demands locally. We've received over the years support from different agencies, some public and some private. Uh, and uh, as, as funding is never enough for what we need to do, but we, we managed to, uh, to squeeze a lot of things out of uh, a little bit of support from here and there, and we're grateful to the support that we received. Here you'll find some references, to, uh, not only to our site, but to some of the other uh, sites and, and uh, things that I've mentioned over the, the slides. I hope you uh, found it interesting, and uh, we hope for your consideration. Thank you.